Hello everyone, this is Sean Shah and welcome to Z Interactive. In today's Marvelous Designer course, we will learn how to create this sidelines on our jacket and also this cut. So without further ado, let's move to Marvelous Designer. So we have here our avatar with a model. Okay. So this is how it looks like right now. And what we need to do is that we have to create a sidelines on the sleeves the first thing uh, that we need to do here is go to the sleeves okay and make that cut which we saw on the uh, squid games character so i will just take my internal line from the top and create an internal line on the sleeve and press enter and after that this is where it will create it so it should be little on the top here some somewhere or maybe sorry here yeah that's fine so i'll right click here and extend trim to pattern outline okay and then i will right click here and cut and saw okay let's see simulate it because sometimes uh artifacts appear, uh, like happens when you are doing something as this as like some changes so currently there is no uh, issue here. So everything seems okay. Now, this is where I want my uh, sidelines to appear. To uh, make something from the center, the best way to do right now is to go add a split point here. Okay. And then right click over here and uniform split if i will make it two so it will be too wide so i will make it uh yeah it's fine like so sorry i will make it three but it will be too wide so what i can do here is that i will take i will go back to uh, my edit pattern tool and i will move them slightly to the uh, left and right side so this one i will move it to the right side click on it the shift key i will move it right click and maybe two okay and then same thing here select shift move it to the or left side right click two now it's quite uh you can say simple okay like a uh, slimmer and now what i'm going to do is that take the internal line and I will create create an internal line here, right above these two points. Okay. Then somewhere here. Then click it here. Click it here. And click it here back. Okay. So this is what I will get it. Now here, this these two points that we just created, we can delete it. We don't want it anymore. Okay. And I will fix these. Accordingly. And I will move them very close to this part. Okay. Not 100% there, like not right over it, but kind of very close to it. The reason is that because if I will move over it, or if I will use this line as uh, this, uh, uh, as the edge of the sidelines, so it will overlap the sewing and we will not uh, be able to create a sewing correctly. I will move this here. 
move this kind of there. Okay. I think I have to add one more here. I did better to and move this down. Now, this should move to the right side to make it straight. And this edge now, I have to zoom in as much as I can. So I can clearly zoom, uh, like perfectly zoom, uh, like move it down. Now, once we are done, it almost looks like it's on the edge. However, it is not what it looks like. Okay. So what I will do here is that. I will select this, okay, and then right click, and after that, I will use clone as pattern on the top of it, and here as well. Click clone as pattern, top of it, okay. So, Shift uh, F, arrange these. Uh, shift F again. Move this a little bit off the ground, like offset it a bit. I will select these two, right click and symmetric pattern. Oops. Right click here and apply linked. The metric pattern we're showing. Okay. That's it. Now I have to sew both of them. So to sew it, you have to be very careful right now. So I will select from here, go all the way, click on this. Okay, that was quick. And similarly here. Okay, there is something. Oh, you can see the directions are not matching. So you have to make sure the direction is right. Let's, let's do again. Okay. Now it's fine. So let's simulate and let's see. And here we go. We got our sidelines here. You can change the color later on. So then it will be more obvious. It will be, it will show uh, more obviously. Uh, there, but there is an issue here a little bit uh, on this part. I think that is because if we will go here, this line is overlapping. Okay, okay. Whenever you click on some lines or stitches, the pattern uh, shows like the one which uh, like the color dot shows. Those indicates that which color dot you want to select. Okay, that happens sometimes, but not all the time. Like whenever you have multiple objects. So uh, Marvel's designer asks you like, which one you want to select, basically. Okay, I think it should not. Yeah, it should work now. Clear. Cool. So that's it. Next class, what we are going to do, we will make this sleeve a little longer and add a uh, the wristbands to it just like what we did to the ankles so if you guys like my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet so please do it and hit the bell icon to support my channel please watch my videos online and do not download them otherwise i won't get any benefit out of it which will demotivate me to make further videos so please champion my channel and like them if you find them useful so take care guys stay safe stay healthy and keep learning on the interactive your own training institute if you're enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson, then 
join my Z Interactive Early Bird membership plan. Once you are an active member, you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published. Moreover, you can support my channel by joining Z Interactive Friends membership plan. You will get a lot of perks with that also. 